Queen Elizabeth II died last Thursday, September 8th. And since then, the world has been occupied with uh, talking about her, her life and her death. So somebody shared a story. They interviewed Richard Griffin. He was a bodyguard of the Queen for around 14 years. He was her personal officer, her security guard, who escorted her for protection. So he shared that once for a weekend, she went to Balmoral Castle. And she would stay there for the weekend, and they would walk around, she would have some picnics there, she would take walks, and he would accompany her as her bodyguard, and they would chat. She said one weekend, they were taking a walk together, and usually there was nobody there. It was so private, you would barely see a soul. But once in a while, you could see somebody, and she was always very cordial and nice, and she would greet everybody she met, and they would move on. Once he was walking with her, they were just chatting, and there was nobody to be seen, but suddenly they see two hikers who have been hiking near the hills, and they approach them. She was wearing some uh, kerchief on her head, so the two hikers who were Americans, he said, did not recognize that uh, this was Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of England. He thought it was just an older woman walking with a fellow. So they greeted her, they said hi, and she said hi back to them. And they started to schmooze, and they started to tell her that they're from America, and they came for a touring, and they're hiking here, and where they went yesterday, and where they're going tomorrow, and what they're doing today. And then they turn to her and they say, and where do you live? She says, I live in London. What are you doing here? She says, I have a house here that I come to a vacation. How long have you been coming to this house, they ask her. She says, 80 years. And they look at her and they say, 80 years? If you've been coming here for 80 years, it must be that you met the queen. Because the queen lives somewhere in this area. So she says, I actually never met the queen. But this fellow standing in near me, he meets her regularly. So they look at him and they say, really? You meet the queen regularly? And yeah, he says, yeah. So they say, what type of personality does she have? So he says he knew that she was a witty woman and she had a good sense of humor. So he knew he could be a little humorous. So he says to them, she is very cantankerous. It means very argumentative, very hot-tempered and never cooperates with anybody. A very difficult person to deal with. But she has a wonderful sense of humor. They say, really? Wow. So you literally know the queen. And these two guys come over to him, he says, and they put their hands on his shoulders and they give the camera to the queen. And they say, would you please take a photo of us? Here's a person who, who meets the queen regularly. She says, absolutely. And she takes the camera and uh, her majesty takes a photo of him with these two guys. And then they say, you know, let's take a photo with you as well. <laughs> so they come near her and he takes a photo of them with her. And then they move on. They say goodbye to each other, and they move on their walk, and they move on their hike. And she turns to uh, Mr. Griffin, and she says, you know, I would love to be a fly on the wall. When they come back to America, and they show the pictures to their friends, and hopefully somebody tells them who I am. And I thought to myself, you know, first I liked the line very much. She said, you know, I never met the queen, but he meets the queen. Sometimes, you know, you have to meet yourself. Sometimes you're Eya Neuchi, the Kotzke Rebbe said, Rav Kuk and Avzich. So sometimes you have to meet yourself. That's number one. But then I thought number two, a person could be in the field hiking, and you're talking to Her Majesty, the Queen, but you don't know it. <laughs> so you think you're talking to somebody who met her, and therefore you want to take a picture with him, because he will tell you about her when you're actually in her presence. And I thought to myself, this captures so vividly the famous metaphor. The Alter Rebbe, the Balatanya, and the Kutatari, the Parshas Rei, the Maim Anila Doidi Vidoidili, gives the metaphor that during the month of Elul, the king comes to the field and he wants to hang out, Kivayachel and be, with all of his subjects, but not in a way that they have to go to the palace and get dressed up, and over there you need protector, and you need to get permission, and you have to wait a long time, and you have to get dressed properly. But the idea of Elul is it's not a days of Yom Tif, it's Yemei HaChayl, it's regular days, and yet, Arizal says there's a tremendous revelation of the Yom Tifarachim, because it's like the king is in the field, and wants to meet everybody the way, you're hiking the way, you're farming the way, you're walking the way, you're talking, 
Sometimes we feel that I need to go to somebody else. I have to find somebody who met the king or met the queen and take a picture with them. And you don't realize right here, right now, you could be intimate. You're in the presence of Melech Malcham Lachem. You could share whatever is on your mind, whatever is on your heart with full vulnerability. The yeshiva.net